Hello my friends and welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. This is another Trash to Treasure video where I show you how I saved a painting that went so wrong. So I don't know about you, but usually with alcohol ink, I get an idea and I go down to my studio and I try to transfer that idea onto paper. And the inks are so hard to manage sometimes. I seldom end up with what I intended to do. I, I would say that some of my best paintings are probably mistakes when the ink just would not cooperate and I ended up doing something completely different than I had intended on doing in the beginning. And this was one of those times. So I wanted to blow out these soft round petals. And this wasn't bad, but it looked a little cartoonish, I thought. And I wanted the petals to be a little more translucent, but I had um, too much ink in the bottle. I mixed the ink with alcohol and I used that to blow out the petals. And I had too much ink and the petals were not as translucent as I wanted. So I thought maybe I'll blow some petals in between and that will help. But this petal gave me such a hard time and ruined everything. And no matter how many times I tried to blow over it, it just got worse. The rest of it wasn't bad. So now I'm trying to save this and it was just not happening. And the way I blow out these short stubby little petals is to blow the air away from the puddle of ink. So it dries it slowly and it keeps it from moving towards the edge of the paper. So here's the third attempt at that petal and it just wasn't working. And now they all started to go crazy and I was disgusted. So I just started blowing ink and putting down the ink and alcohol mixture and I added more alcohol to the mix in the bottle. Um, I tried just blowing alcohol to move the blue around and all I was doing was making a bigger mess. Now I will go back down into my studio and try to blow out the flower that I had envisioned when I started this painting, but I was really happy with the way this one turned out. So I added more pitch black in the center and now I'm using the alcohol ink and alcohol mix, which I had diluted by now. And you can see it's really not doing anything. So I thought I'd blow out some longer petals. And nothing good was happening. So then I got the idea, what if I use acrylic ink and water? What will that do? So in a minute, you'll see that I bring out my blue acrylic ink and I'm putting down a dot and then using the alcohol ink and um, ink mixture to move it around. And it really didn't do anything except um, add a little bit more blue. But it was nice to see that I could move the acrylic ink using the alcohol. So once I started getting a little bit of color back into the painting, I thought that maybe there was something I could do to save this. So once I finished blowing out more petals, I decided I was going to create veining like you've seen me do before. And this is a great technique to save a painting. So I'm putting down a drop of the ink and then just a tiny drop of water over it to dilute the ink so it doesn't become too opaque. I want these little veins to be more translucent, so that's why I dilute it. And you can see I'm just blowing that ink, the acrylic ink that is, all over the place and making sure that I cover the entire flower with it. And I like to share these videos with you because I, I, I know that when I was a beginner, I would get really discouraged when I would try to do something and I would 
constantly compare my work to other people's work. And um, when I didn't get what, when my work didn't look like their work, I would get really discouraged. And I think it's important to share the successes and the failures with you because I hope that it inspires you not to give up and that it helps you to know that even those of us who have more experience, sometimes we get some really bad, bad paintings. But instead of getting down about it, I just take it as a learning experience. I have nothing to lose if I think I've already ruined the painting. So I take it as an opportunity to play and to learn. And it's amazing the things that I've learned simply by ruining a painting. So you can see here, I have taken, taken a Posca pen and I've outlined some petals. And my first go at this made the flower look too square. So the great thing about this is that you can change the, the shape of the petals, the size, anything you want. You can make them look any way you want. Then I'm using a Posca pen with a thicker nib to create a black background. And if you don't have Posca pens, you can use acrylic paint to do this and a paintbrush. I don't recommend using the inks because they will turn out very streaky and you won't be happy. So now I'm liking this better. And as I'm filling in the background, I'm still redefining the shape of my petals. But I decided that I wanted to make this a little bit more dramatic. So I created a little space, black space in between the petals. And I really liked the way that looked. Now I'm making sure that the ink is dry. The uh, mic micro, micron, no, what? Posca pens, oh my goodness. And I'm creating some black space in between the petals. And I really like the way that looked. As I said, I think it looks more dramatic. And then I used snow cap to create a center. And I wanted a fluffy kind of center. So I did my typical center. And then once I had the shape down, I started to add white dots onto the petals. You can see here my highlighted area is at the top left. As I move down, I add less dots and I make them further apart. Here I'm adding those dots onto the petals to make it look fluffy. And later I will use a black gel pen with a fine point to connect those dots to the center of the flower. And while you watch me do this, I'll remind you that all the products used are listed in the description box. Please don't forget to like, comment, or consider subscribing. Your interaction with my channel is really helpful and it's a very, very nice and simple way to show your support and I really do appreciate it. So here you see I'm connecting all those little dots that I put on the petals to the center of the flower. So the moral of the story is don't give up, keep trying. You might end up with something that you're really, really proud of. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.